Hey family, hope you guys are doing well. In this video, we'll be talking about how you can develop and maintain strong, blessed, healthy relationships. And if you have broken relationships in your life, I'm going to also be sharing how you can reconcile these relationships and maintain strong, healthy relationships with these people. All right, so all the information that I'll, that I'll be sharing will be taken from my new book, How to Reach Your Potential in Christ. It is available on Amazon. You just have to write, write my name, Andrew Cho, and you can find it easily. And so in chapter three, we talk about uh, how to develop and maintain strong blessed healthy relationships all right so when god created adam uh the, the bible says that uh, that god said that it is not good for man to be alone so what does that tell us does this, this, this tell us it tells us that we were created to as social beings we were not created to be live life alone we are created to love and to be loved we are created to have relationships and we are created to have blessed strong healthy relationships but what happened is that adam and eve sinned against god which means that the curse of sin came upon the earth and a lot of things were broken a lot of things were uh shaken up including relationships all right so relationships became broken and that's why today we have divorce we have bitterness we have unforgiveness um and even as born again christians many of us struggle with our relationships whether it's a relationship with our spouse with our children with our friends with our family with our co-workers um a lot of us don't know how to develop and maintain strong blessed and healthy relationships and so this is what this video is all about um uh, and so the first thing that is foundational is the greatest commandment which is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. And the second greatest commandment, which is, which is to love your neighbor as yourself. All right, so the golden rule of the Christian life is to do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And if you consistently apply the golden rule, you will naturally develop strong, blessed, healthy relationships. All right, so if you just examine the life of Jesus, Jesus perfectly obeyed the golden rule to do unto others as you would have them do unto, to what, uh, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And how did he do this? He heal the sick, cast out devils, uh, he gave to those that were hungry, he demonstrated his love through action. So the Bible says, do not love in word only, but love in action and in truth. And so as you demonstrate love, as you do unto others, as you would have them do unto you, whether it's praying for them, whether it's giving them food, whether it's giving them your time and your energy, the more you consistently apply the golden rule, the more you will experience blessed relationships. Why? Because you will love people and people will naturally love you back, right? In the time of Jesus, people loved Jesus and up until today, we love him. Why? Because he demonstrated his love through his actions, ultimately by dying on the cross for our sins. And the Bible says that we love God because he first loved us. And so if you want to experience love, because all of us, naturally, we want to experience love. If you want to experience love, you must demonstrate love to others one of the principles of the kingdom of heaven is sowing and reaping and this goes in this works in every area whether it's your finances whether it's love respect um any area the more you demonstrate love the more you sow love the more you will reap love and so if you want to experience love in your life first of all examine are you loving people are you intentionally loving people Right, because even the pagans love the people who love them back. Right, we have to be intentional of loving people unconditionally, even if they have nothing to give us. We have to be intentional of loving, uh, uh, loving people. And the more you consistently love people, whether it's whether it's people that you know or the people that you don't know, the more you do it, the more you will experience love in return, and the more you will develop strong, blessed, healthy relationships. All right, so this is the foundation. As a Christian, you must live a lifestyle of the golden rule to do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And if you apply this consistently, you will naturally experience strong, blessed, healthy relationships. And maybe you already have relationships, but they are not strong, blessed, and healthy. Maybe they are broken. Maybe there is bitterness. Maybe there is unforgiveness. If you demonstrate love in action, if you do unto them as you would have them do unto you, these relationships will be blessed, strong, healthy, and restored. All right. Secondly, it is also very beneficial, even as Christians, to, to develop, develop social skills. Right. God created us as social beings. God did not call us to be shy or introverted. Why? Because shy, shyness um, and being introverted is often tied to the fear of man or the fear of what people think of us or the fear of the opinions of man. And ultimately, it comes down to pride. Why? Because it is a false humility and it's all about thinking about oneself or one's reputation, 
right? So get that out of your mind that God created you as an introvert, all right? Because God has not given you a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. And so you must be able to socialize. You are called to preach the gospel. You are called to evangelize unbelievers. And if you don't have the social skills, then it'll hinder you, right? So you have to be intentional of developing social skills. So I want to show you guys some skills uh, strategies that you can implement to develop your social skills for example you could develop active listening what does active listening look uh, active listening look like when you're conversating with someone you give them your full attention right you you give them eye contact you nod your head <laughs> you show them empathy right um you don't you're not distracted by your phone you listen to them secondly you could ask questions and the more you ask questions the more uh, they could feel valued and appreciated and so uh, and, and avoid lecturing people avoid always talking about yourself avoid uh rambling on and on but let people express themselves right these are some 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 skills social skills that will allow you to develop strong uh, relationships with people and uh, and people will love you for it right like i mentioned you show empathy right you can show empathy with your fa facial gestures Right? By, by putting your hand on their shoulder. Empathy is simply putting your, yourself in the shoes of the other person. And so you can also demonstrate empathy by helping them in whatever situation they need. Right? Let, let's say they're, 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 they're sharing their burdens with you. Maybe, maybe they're struggling. Maybe they're hungry. You give them food to eat. Maybe they need clothes. You give them clothes. Right? That is also part of showing empathy. And these are all social skills. Another social skill that you could use is paraphrasing. Retelling what the person said to you. That way you can ensure that you understood and also it helps them to feel valued and appreciated and it also allows them to correct anything that you may have misunderstood. Right? So, so, so social skills are essential even in the Christian life if you want to be a light in the world because you are called to be a light in the world. You're not called to be alone. You're not called to be introverted and shy. Right? Stop uh, taking on these labels. Take off these labels and believe what the Word of God says about you. That you are bold as a lion. That you are the light of the world. That God has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. And these are scriptures that you could declare over your life. And you begin to live them out by being intentional of loving others and developing social skills. Now, how do we respond to hate? Because not everybody's going to love us, right? And Jesus himself said that if they hated me, they will hate you also. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you also. And how did Jesus respond to persecution? He responded with love, right? When Jesus was hanging on that cross, the people that were crucifying him, he prayed for them. He said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do, right? And he gave us the commandment to bless those who curse you. Pray for those who persecute you. Love your enemies because if you love those who love you back, you're not any different from the Gentiles, from the, the pagans or, or the unbelievers. You need to differentiate yourself by loving those who hate you, loving those who persecute you. And, and people who, who are offended by you, you must humble yourself and reconcile with them. Right? Jesus himself said that if someone has an offense towards you, you cannot worship, you cannot bring your sacrifice before the altar. In other words, you cannot come to a place of worshiping God unless you reconcile with your brother. Right? I'm not saying that you could reconcile with everybody because some people they will never forgive you, right? Or some people they will help you hate you for no reason. For example, unbelievers. However, if you have a brother or sister in Christ who was offended at you, before coming to God in worship or in prayer, you must reconcile with that brother. You must ask him to forgive you. And you must also forgive that person because unless you forgive others, neither will, they, will your Heavenly Father forgive you. All right, so uh, there's a little brief overview of how you can develop strong, blessed, healthy relationships. So once again, if you want more details, it is available in this book, uh, How to Reach Your Potential in Christ. Once again, it's available on Amazon. Just type in my name, Andrew Cho, and you can find it. So God bless you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.